But you uh, still you still stay around there, or is that kind of like just your past? Nah, yeah, that's my past. That's that's the hood where I grew up at. I don't be over there like that no more. I think I indicted for hanging over there. Yes. Can't go back to that. Crazy. But, okay, tell us a little bit about what growing up in, in Brooklyn and Crown Heights was like. Same. For me, I got indicted at a young age when I from over there. Like, I got indicted. I started going to jail when I was, like, 14. 13, not 13. Well, but for the most part, it's not that bad. Like, you just got to watch who you surround yourself with. I just got in the wrong crowd. At, at a young age. So you were seeing yeah. crazy shit going down early on, or, or what was this like? Hell yeah. I was seeing crazy shit at a young age because I was with the wrong crowd. For me, so. I, I mean, know. but you're saying the wrong crowd, but I'm yeah. assuming these are a lot of your, like, childhood friends and shit, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, that could also be the wrong crowd, for That's sure. That's a fact. I'm yeah. saying, though. Know, but where we started running the streets at a young age, for me, I got locked up when I was like, I first got locked up when I was like 13, doing dumb shit. Just doing dumb shit in stores, running in stores, doing dumb shit. Wow. But yeah. so you were getting caught up for whatever ass shit back then, but mm -hmm. then as you got, when, when did you get indicted for the, the real case? I got indicted when I was 16. That was 20, we got indicted in 2016. Or I'm 23 now, I did four years. And did you have any idea that that was coming? Because it was like a whole gang investigation, right? Where you yeah. and all your friends get hit with a ton of charges all at once? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, like, that shit was like generational. I, I knew it was coming, but I ain't know when, you feel me? Because it happened to my older bros, like the older guys from the hood. Bravo, it was a, that's the pop. It's called Bravo, Bravo Pop. Right. That's the indictment. That's what the indictment was called, like Bravo Gang. That was the one before us. And then it was us. We was Bergen, Bergen family. Right. Oh, so they got indicted First. previously. And you yeah. hear about this sometimes where they'll yeah. be like, oh, there was this hood over here, but now they ain't really a thing anymore because they all got locked up at the yeah. same time. And it just cripples a, a yeah. neighborhood in terms of that group. That shit gener generational. Like, even my, my little bros... They got indicted too. <laughs> it just keep happening, like again, damn. Yeah, like so. That's three times our hood got indicted. Like, right. Where we from? Did anybody snitch on you in this whole process? Nah, everybody I got indicted with, we held it down. Nobody told. Really? Yeah, we wanted a few out of like Brooklyn to do that. So you sat for four years, just basically fighting the case. Nah, I sat for. I, I fought the case for probably like. Almost two years, and then the plea was four years. I took four years, but um, at first my offer was four, then it went up to seven, then it went up to ten. Then like my lawyer got it back down to four. Really? Yeah, he's like, you gotta take that. <laughs> take that. <laughs> and were you kind of like expecting somebody to snitch during this, or were you always pretty confident? Like I felt like the group of individuals I got indicted with was solid. Like. Feel me like, I feel like we was solid. We we stayed solid. Like, so I ain't think no none of us would tell, or I I wouldn't expect that. Nah. But you were also just so young that it's pretty impressive that That's you knew fact. how to act in that situation. I don't know. Like, you watch the gangsters movies growing up. Nobody likes to snitch, man. You supposed to? I don't know. <laughs> I, even cops don't like snitches. Mm. They be saying that shit. Like, feel me. Yeah, because they could put themselves in your shoes. Yeah. Even if they're against you, they're still able to say, like, damn, I wouldn't do that to my homie. Yeah, I feel like nobody like a snitch for real. Shit, well. <laughs> no, truth to that. <laughs> nah, <laughs> That's why I'm sure. out the streets, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to enjoy it. I don't know. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, it depends, but. Like, I, feel like if you, if, I, I feel like if you doing shit in the streets, you don't want nobody to tell on you. So don't tell on nobody. But if you're not like a street dude, you're not doing nothing, that, that, that don't apply to you. Like, you could. You could feel me? But looking back on how all that shit unfolded, especially because, you know, you were one of the youngest people on this indictment and there was older people involved or whatever, do you look back at your, your childhood and say, like, damn, I was kind of getting, you know, had the battery put in my back by older dudes to maybe do stuff on behalf of the unit? Nah. I felt like I was like, nah. I don't feel like that because I feel like, we like I was raised differently. Like I was always, I always had like leadership skills for me. Like I, if I don't want to do nothing, I ain't gonna do it. You can't tell me to do nothing. Nobody could tell me. 
mm. go through something. Even since I was younger, like, so nah. Okay. Is it true that you, because I, I saw something online that said that part of that case was you allegedly shooting somebody off a bike. Off a bike? And I've been riding bikes my whole <laughs> life, and when I saw that, I was just like, damn. <laughs> That's a that's a crazy ass move that I even the best bike riders in the world I never seen that done. It's been a menace, man. Uh, <laughs> so I, I had to ask. Is, no, how that's you, how I used to go down. No, that's how I used to be. Right. I mean, What's it's New though? York. Huh? You're driving around, there's a shitload of traffic. You're moving slow. There's cars blocking the street. You want a bike? You're moving around. <laughs> Yo, like, wait, wait though, but who was the op you shot off the bike, bro? Nah, I ain't shoot nobody. We're in the jail for it already, right? Nah, that's a fact. Yo, bro, listen. If I was the op, bro, like, here, okay, so, do he make, like, gangster drill music, bro? Because if I got shot off the bike, bro, that's the last thing I'll be doing is making drill music. Can't you right imagine, now. like, a Bronx drill rapper and he got shot off a bike? Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I done heard all type of shit like that. They be, say, they be saying shit like that still. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.